Hello, in this video we will look at Steam on the Chromebook or the Chromebox. I installed Steam quite a few years ago and I wasn't impressed at all. I'm hoping now that it's improved a little. Now obviously playing games, you can play games on Nvidia GeForce now and I do that quite often and it's really good or Stadia. The problem with that is you do need a really good internet connection and if you haven't got a really good internet connection it can cause you issues so i want to see how steam now looks so you can play games locally if you like the video please like below and subscribe to the channel so let's get started so first of all to install steam you do need linux installed and you can't get steam from a linux app store so you do need to install it um, i've not done this by the way this is i'm doing it as i'm doing this video so i'm hoping it works but my understanding is you can now install Steam with a DEB file. Now, if you can, that's quite relatively easy to install on um, a Chromebook. So let's just have a look what options I've got. Install Steam. So that's suggesting Windows here. So accept all. What's that one? There we go. That's the one we want. So see if you go down to this one here, that icon there, you'll see at the bottom down here, it's got DEB and that's what we want. We want a DEB. So we've downloaded that and that should go into there. Steam latest DEB. And then hopefully all we should need to do is I'll drag it into the Linux files. Why won't it go into Linux files? Drag it into downloads. Um, and then install with Linux. There we go. So just install with Linux. Install. And that's it. It's done. That's done well. It's it's launched. Just putting it in Linux install. I was going to say that's pretty quick. So I will pause the video obviously going along so you're not having to wait for different parts. Okay, so that part took about a minute or so and it says it's in my terminal but there should be one in your apps launcher, which I hope there is. Let's have a look. Can't go, maybe it's in here. There we go, Steam. So it is in there, so it's in the apps launcher. Open that up. And now it's installing, so I'll just pause and wait for it to go through. Okay, so that took about maybe five minutes maybe a bit longer to get to this stage and as you can see we've got create new account or log into an existing account so if we log in okay so I've just logged in and this is how it looks so it looks relatively similar to how it looks on a PC I've not used Steam for years although I use Nvidia GeForce now and that links to Steam it's still on the Nvidia GeForce now actual interface so I don't know how it looks now so these are all my games here um, I, I'm trying to think of what sort of game I should try and install I don't want to install a really super modern game because it's there's no way it's going to run the transport fever 2 or tropico 6 city skylines but i've got some old games that i could try um i think what i might try and install is um I'm trying to think we won't play grand theft auto but it is quite an old game we tried grand theft auto so let's have a look if i've got enough room for it that is Let's have a look. Install. Why oh, is that not giving me an install option? Uh, so it appears that one is only for Windows. So that one I can't install for some reason. Um, saying that they're all saying for Windows. Let me just check something here. So if I go to. Uh, okay, so that's interesting. So not all games are available, which I bought previously. So some are just in support of PC. So Prison Architect it is available there. So if you've got lots of games and you check, it will say what it's available for. So here, Windows and Apple Mac. So we need the ones what are own. And unfortunately, that may mean if I go through my list here, I can assume that unfortunately, most of them will not install which is a bit of a shame um armor 3 armor 3 is okay i can't imagine that running very well um so this is motion that does but that's got an old game i 
forward as well. City Skylines. Now, it is saying I could install City Light Skylines, which is quite interesting because that's a very um, intensive graphics game and I can't imagine it would run. Let's have a look how much space it needs. Yeah, so here, look, this space, 11.50, 11, just over 11 gigabyte. And I only gave my Linux partition of the hard disk on my Chromebook 10 gigabyte. So it's only got four gigabyte available. So I'd have to either increase that partition or shorten it down. So really, at the moment on this, all we're trying to do is just to see what other games work. Let's see how long Prison Architect will take. 1.22, so we'll do Prison Architects and see how it looks. But the last time I ran Prison Architect a few years ago, my Chromebook, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible, wouldn't work. So I want to see if it's changed. So that's downloaded now. I'll pause the video and I'll get back when it's been installed and it's all ready to go. Okay, so Prison Architect has just installed. So I'm just going to click on play and let's see how long it takes to load up on a PC it didn't take long so we'll just see how long it takes on the Chromebook to load up if it does error okay access error to game data we don't have read write to direct through game data please contact support so that's really interesting so that's something to do with Linux not giving it um, access which is strange because I didn't have this last time but it does appear that it's allowed me to carry on anyway Let's see what happens. Maybe that was just one of them errors that you get and which you can just ignore. So we'll wait for this. It is loading. That's good to have to stop. There we go. So hopefully um, we'll have audio. Yeah, I hope you can hear that audio, hopefully. I'll use it on a speaker let's cut the audio so it loaded up okay do shift tab close i don't know if that's too loud but hopefully once we get into it let's we'll skip this so far the graphics on this part look okay i'll just turn this volume down it's not like too loud Okay, so I think we're just going to go for this because it's just a brand new game. Yeah, load of waffle, get on with it. Yeah, not interested. Right, so how do I just play a game? All right, close. So, create new prison, just do anything, just play. And actually, it's not too bad, but. Oh. Uh, okay, so one thing I would say is you may have to watch it if you've got two monitors connected because I've got this monitor here and I've got a monitor up there, so I've set it so when I go up there, my cursor goes onto there. So that's nothing to do with the game, you just have to do it. But you can, I am now just holding down my mouse wheel, so this is on a Chromebook on your, on, on, on a Chrome box, sorry, on a Chromebook, you'd have to hold down your mouse I think or just have the one monitor come up with an error a message there about low space on Linux but it looks all right let's see what it's like if I try and build things I'd be quite happy to play this locally to be fair I've not played this in quite a while it's not a game that I'll play at the moment but this is a great improvement on how it was a few years ago so definitely improved there yeah I, I, I don't see any problems really maybe it would be um, I'd have to in increase the space the storage space that I've allowed for the partition of Linux and I think this also shows that these games will take up a lot of space so the idea of buying Chromebooks with more storage in the future is good the only thing which is a bit of a letdown, and I should have thought about it really, is a lot of these games are just made for Windows and you won't be able to play them on Steam on here. But, and I think that's the same with GeForce Now, if, I'm, if I can remember correctly. 
I think it is. It only shows you some. So it will only let you play games, which here is just available for Windows. So if you've got a massive catalogue and you're waiting for Steam to come along, don't expect to be able to play these games that are made just for Windows. But that doesn't necessarily mean just the old games, because if we go down here, for example, Tropico 4, just for Windows and Apple, or Tropico 6, which is a newer game, that is allowed to install. So that shows that the developers are realizing they should also start making games that are compatible with Linux now. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if that's because they know that the Chromebook is getting to a stage where you can play games on Linux. And not just that, obviously GeForce now as well. I will have to look into GeForce now. I, I haven't got it logged in at the moment. I don't have my credentials, so I wouldn't know what it is. But yeah, so it, from there, it does suggest that you can play the game. I didn't actually need to install any of the flags, but there is there is a couple of flags. One of the flags that there is a risk to installing it, although Google says they've not seen anyone exploit that risk. So the risk is if you enable hyper-threading, apparently it gives you better performance. So Chromebooks are standard disable hyper-threading to keep it secure, but you can take that off. That's a totally different, different video. So yeah, in this video, I just showed you how to install Steam. You can. Um, Prison Architect, yes, not the most advanced game, but that was mainly down to I don't have enough storage to try a more advanced game. Maybe I'll try that and see what it's like, see how it works with City Skylines. I can't imagine it would run very well, but if it did, it would be very interesting, so I'll look into that. If you liked, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos, and thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,